Hello, in this video I will show how to external discharge with the HOTA D6 Plus. Um, there are some special things you have to follow when you want to use the external discharge function. So, first, um, sorry for my bad English, normally I speak German, but I hope when I speak English that I can help uh, maybe more people. Um, I have connected a lamp on output 1. Um, it will get very hot, so it's very dangerous to do it like this normally. You have to use um, resistors, but um, to show how it works, um, it's okay like this. Huh? So first I will take a 7.4 volt LiPo, a 2S LiPo, connect it to the in input channel. And now the fan is going on and the fan is going off and stays off. This is important, you will see uh, later. Now I will choose channel 1 and go to task external discharge. Okay, this is a 2S LiPo and I will start the task. So as you can see, it works fine. So stop the task. Okay. Now I'll go back and change the task to charge. Okay. This works normally like it should, all is fine. So now I'll disconnect the 2S 7.4 volts LiPo and connect um, a 4S 40.8 volts LiPo. If I connect this, you will see first the same reaction, fan is going on, fan is going off. But now, fan is starting again. So that means with this LiPo, the D6 reacts different. I think this is um, because when you have more voltage, then the fan is um, stays all the time on. Yeah? It's better maybe for the electronic. I don't know. But now we will see if I go again to channel 1 go to task external discharge is not possible to choose it stays gray it's just not possible this is maybe i think because there is a other code now working on this d6 when you have more voltage um, i tested it with um, external power supply connected it here to the input and found out that this happens exactly at 14.5 volts. So when you go more than 40.5 volts, then the fan is on the whole time and it's not possible to do the external discharge. But there's one trick to do it anyway with uh, more than 40.5 volts. Um, disconnect it again. And then when I connect it, you have to be uh, really fast and then you can do it anyway. Oh. Go to channel, go to channel 1, task, charge. Ah. Okay, I was too slow. Let's do it again. Okay, you see, now it's red. Now you can do it. You have to choose the 4S now. 1 ampere. Start. And it's working. So if you stop this task, it will not be possible. And, uh, 
It is possible because I have chosen it already, so it's possible to start it again. But if you go to a different task now, well, you already see it, it's not possible to choose external discharge. So if you want to do this with more than 40.5 volts at the input, so let's say with um, 4S5 or 6S LiPo, then you have to be really fast at the beginning and then you can choose it. And if you chosen it, if you have chosen it for channel 1, it's also possible to do it on channel 2. Okay, I hope um, I can help some people with this issue. Thanks for watching.